In recent years, the financial industry has faced a mountain burden of compliance and regulatory challenges. Since the 2008 financial crash, global regulations have stepped up their scrutiny of banking practices and imposed over $300 billion in fines and penalties on banks. To avoid penalties, financial institutions have increasingly turned to technology-driven solutions that can help maintain the accuracy of regulatory disclosure and meet compliance requirements. RegTech solutions are no longer just a nice-to-have, it's now a must-have because complying with regulation is a business-critical part of a company's operations and is usually beyond the capabilities of their own legacy technology. Now, According to Forbes, over 65% of banks are partnered with at least one fintech over the last three years. The global regtech market size is expected to grow from $5.4 billion in 2019 to $28 billion by 2027. Spending by financial institutions on regtech is estimated to make up more than 50% of global compliance budgets by 2026. Regtech has emerged as one of the fastest growing areas of financial technology and is poised to reshape how industries approach regulatory compliance and risk management. And not only is regtech helping businesses, they are also empowering regulatory bodies such as central banks to enhance oversight and regulatory effectiveness. As organizations strive to navigate an increasingly complex regulatory landscape, RegTech stands at the forefront, ready to empower organizations to allocate resources more strategically, mitigate risks proactively, and ensure a culture of compliance throughout their operations. So in this video, we're going to talk about what exactly RegTech is, why is the next big fintech frontier that any fintech player or enthusiast should pay attention to, and highlight some of the transformational work that is being done by players in the space in assisting both central and commercial banks and even fintechs to ensure ensure compliance across the financial ecosystem. If that sounds interesting to you, then let's chat about it. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy and if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so because on this channel I speak about fintech, digital transformation and career development. RegTech, which is short for regulatory technology, refers to the use of advanced technologies to streamline and enhance regulatory compliance processes within various industries, particularly the financial sector. It involves leveraging tools such as data analytics, blockchain, artificial intelligence, machine learning and more to automate and optimize compliance procedures, manage risks, and ensure adherence to complex and evolving regulatory requirements. Now, the origin of RegTech can be traced back to the effects of the 2008 global financial crisis, which resulted in a severe economic downturn, widespread bank failures, and a loss of confidence in the global financial system. Now, in the aftermath of the crisis, policymakers and regulators recognized the need to prevent a similar catastrophe in the future and to restore stability and trust in the financial industry. This recognition led to a wave of new regulations aimed at enhancing financial oversight, transparency, risk management, and consumer protection. These new regulations marked a significant shift in the regulatory landscape prompting financial institutions to adopt stricter compliance practices and leading to the emergence of RegTech as a response to the growing complexity of regulatory requirements. So remember, behind every great crisis is a wave of new rules, and behind every wave of new rules is a tech-savvy RegTech superhero ready to tame the regulatory beast. And that's the origin story of RegTech. RegTech at a high level is assumed to be a subset of FinTech. However, there are some that argue that RegTech is its own standalone domain, which is actually a bigger domain than FinTech. And there's some good grounds for this argument. FinTech refers to the use of technologies in the financial services industry to improve operational, product, and customer engagement capabilities. However, although FinTech is usually limited to the field of banking and financial services exclusively, RegTech RegTech is applicable to many more industries. RegTech is applicable in retail and e-commerce, telecommunications, healthcare, aviation, real estate, and a few others. So RegTech is being hailed as the next big fintech frontier for a number of reasons. For one, 
The problem that RegTech solves is quite urgent. The increasing complexity of regulations demands immediate and efficient solutions or institutions will stand the risks of heavy fine or penalties and even license suspensions. Two, it has cross-industry applicability because the solutions extend beyond just finance. Three, some of the regulations that they address have global reach, hence RegTech is in demand by institutions globally. Four, it saves companies a ton of cost by increasing efficiency and reducing the manual labor and cost associated with traditional methods. And lastly, RegTech facilitates collaboration between the regulators and regulated entities. This enhances transparency, streamlines reporting, enables faster issue resolution, and standardizes compliance practices, creating consistency which reduces confusion and ensures that all parties are working with the same information. Now, all these are benefits of RegTech that contribute to its emergence as the next big fintech frontier. However, that isn't even the most exciting aspect of RegTech. Although RegTech does focus on streamlining compliance for institutions, the reason why it's garnered such attention and momentum is that it also sits at the forefront of shaping a digital future for the entire financial landscape. Now, RegTech is embracing a broader mission of driving innovation and adaptation in the financial realm. A subset of RegTech known as subtech or supervisory technology is gaining prominence by providing regulators with the tools to keep pace with the rapid digitization of financial services. Supervisory technology is helping both regulators and financial service providers, including other fintechs, to adapt to an increasingly digital era. So let's look at a few examples of the forward-looking applications of RegTech and SubTech innovations. Central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, are a prime example. RegTech is stepping up to facilitate the development and deployment of CBDCs. As governments explore the potential of CBDCs as digital equivalents of their national currencies, RegTech tools are instrumental in ensuring the security, privacy, and regulatory compliance of these digital assets. These solutions help regulators implement robust identity verification, transaction monitoring, and secure encryption mechanisms that are essential for CBDCs to function effectively in a digital ecosystem. Fintech sandboxes are another innovation that allow fintech startups to test their products and services in a controlled and supervised environment before a full-scale launch. Here again, RegTech plays a crucial role by providing the technology to monitor the tests in real time, ensuring they adhere to regulatory guidelines. Regulatory and supervisory technology solutions enable regulators to oversee these sandboxes without stifling innovation, but rather striking a balance between fostering fintech growth and maintaining regulatory integrity. Now, this process helps fintechs refine their offerings and ensures that their innovative solutions align with legal and compliance standards. Predictive supervision tools are another example. Using machine learning algorithms, predictive supervision helps regulators anticipate potential issues of non-compliance before they escalate. By analyzing historical data and market trends, subject tools can identify patterns that might indicate risks and prompt regulators to take preventive measures. These tools can also simulate various economic scenarios and stress tests on financial institutions to assess the resilience of institutions and the broader financial system under different economic conditions, aiding regulators in making informed policy decisions. Now, the power of these regulatory tools lies in its ability to harness the vast amount of data generated by financial transactions and activities. Regulators are increasingly relying on subject tools that leverage data analytics, artificial intelligence, and machine learning to detect patterns, anomalies, and potential risk within the financial ecosystem. These insights enable regulators to proactively identify emerging threats and trends, allowing them to adjust policies and regulations accordingly. Now, this approach not only enhances regulatory oversight, but also supports the creation of adaptive frameworks that accommodate the rapid evolution of digital financial services. Now, let's take a real use case of an exciting RegTech company that is leveraging these innovative supervisory technology tools to transform the game. MTech is a US-based tech company that builds modern central banking infrastructure that aims to power a resilient and inclusive financial ecosystem. Ecosystem. Now, MTech is demonstrating that supervisory technology is not just a buzzword, it's a catalyst for innovation that empowers governments, regulators, and financial service providers to thrive in a digital era. At MTech, their mission is crystal clear 
to enable governments and regulators to explore groundbreaking concepts like central bank digital currencies while embracing innovation through tools like fintech sandboxes. Now, this dynamic approach is all about keeping up with the rapidly changing pace of the digital era and it's setting the stage for a more agile and responsive financial ecosystem. MTech has partnered with renowned institutions like the Central Bank of Ghana, the Central Bank of the Bahamas, Central Bank of Nigeria, and the West African Monetary Institute, as well as notable tech companies like Haiti Pay and Hedra to deliver complete digital regulatory sandboxes and digital cash, i.e. central bank digital currencies. Now, MTech has just closed a priced funding round with investors like Matrix Partners, India, Vested World, Black Tech Nation, and others. And that is testament to the value and immense potential that institutional investors recognize in the RegTech domain. RegTech founders are emerging as pioneers in leveraging technology to revolutionize compliance and to enable regulatory innovation and supervision. Now, central bank digital currencies are at the forefront of discussions on the future of currency. MTech is guiding regulators through the complexities of CBDC implementation by providing them the technological backbone needed for secure digital currencies. By collaborating with regulators to ensure that CBDCs meet the highest standards of security, privacy, and compliance. But MTech doesn't stop there. They are driving innovation through regulatory fintech sandboxes, which are controlled environments where fintech startups can experiment with new ideas under regulatory supervision. Now, these regulatory sandboxes act as innovation playgrounds, allowing startups to refine their concepts, validate their solutions, and collaborate closely with regulators to ensure compliance right from the outset. Now, the unique thing about MTech as a RegTech is that it doesn't just stand as an innovative force on its own. It thrives on collaboration and doesn't operate in isolation, which is what sets them apart in the field of RegTech and supervisory technology. They are creating an ecosystem where fintechs, financial service providers, and tech firms all have a seat at the innovation table. They recognize that real innovation thrives when diverse minds come together by enabling other players in the financial landscape to participate in their innovation journey. MTech is fostering an environment where fresh ideas merge with established expertise to create something truly groundbreaking. A classic example of this collaborative ethos by MTech is in the launch of their CBDC Innovation Toolkit. Now, this toolkit isn't just a set of tools, it's a gateway to new possibilities for innovators, fintechs, and financial service providers to discover and craft new business models for the future of money. I took the time to check out the MTech website and navigated through the CBDC simulator on the steps to seamlessly integrate the CBDC API. Now here's a summary of that snippet. Now the website is quite intuitive and easy to explore. Finding my way to the CBDC simulator was fairly easy. So let's go to the home page and then select digital cash. Now the first thing to do is to select a CBDC plan and to subscribe. Now there are three main plans. The first is the startup innovation plan with a yearly or quarterly option. Then you have the partner innovation plan and the enterprise plan. So the difference between the plans is essentially the level of support. Partner and enterprise plans offer you dedicated support and more hours for the design workshop. And you also get 100,000 API calls and more institutional wallets with the enterprise plan. That sounds like a good deal. Now, once you select a package, you can now proceed to integrate with the CBDC API by navigating to the homepage of the digital cash section for the quick action menu. So the API simulator page can be found under the view documentation option. And that brings you to this page where you can see your client ID, wallet ID, and your secret key. So the details of the API specifications can be seen after you click the view documentation. Now there are more detailed instructions in the documentation to complete the integration process. Now once you're done integrating your CBDC API, you can view and monitor wallets and transactions on the dashboard. You just click on the go to dashboard option from the digital cash homepage. Now this is a really futuristic looking dashboard. So from here, you can view all your transaction metrics and wallets, trended and most recent transactions, and you can effect a wallet transfer between your institutional and end user wallets as well. You can view all the wallets that you have in this wallets page, both institutional and end user wallets with all the details of the wallets and details of the transactions that have happened on the wallet. And you can make transfers between both wallets.
What's even more distinctive about MTEX Toolkit is that it operates on a Web3 enabled 24 7 digital cash infrastructure. This means they are not just reimagining the future of finance, they are actually building it. MTEX is empowering businesses to build upon this foundation, shaping the digital cash landscape that aligns with the ever changing needs of modern consumers. Now, if you're interested in learning more about MTEX CBDC Innovation Toolkit, I'll leave a link in the description so you can get all the details to sign up and participate. Also, if you just want to understand more about CBDCs in general and how this innovation toolkit by MTech could be your gateway into the rec tech world of digital money, then I have another video linked here and in the description that goes into a lot more detail on the subject. So friends, the rec tech revolution is reshaping the financial landscape, transcending traditional approaches to compliance and supervision. Innovators like MTech exemplify this transformation, showcasing how collaborative innovation is driving convergence of regulation and innovation. The rise of rec tech signifies the fusion of technology, collaboration, innovation to solve an urgent business critical need and propelling us toward a dynamic transformative era in finance. I look forward to seeing what the rec tech domain main holds for the future of fintech and i hope you found this video valuable if you did remember to hit the like button and leave me a comment and i'll see you in the next video cheers guys